State and federal agencies are working together to reduce crime in the San Jacinto and North Heights neighborhoods. KMR Local 4's Angelina Perez has details on the announcement made today. The U.S. Attorney's Office, FBI, and local law enforcement are now going to be a part of a new initiative, Project Safe Neighborhood. It focuses on rooting out the area's worst offenders, educating those convicted of crimes about recidivism, and building goodwill among the residents, people who are sometimes very wary of working with law enforcement. Their focus is going to be the San Jacinto and North Heights area. An area U.S. Attorney Aaron Neely Cox says needs the attention. When we looked at the data focusing on homicides, aggravated assaults, and robberies, what we found was the crime in this area was creeping up in this neighborhood. Chief of Police Ed Drain tells us they started the project at the beginning of the year and are already seeing a difference. We started Project Safe Neighborhood in January of this year, and uh, we've already got, I was told by some of my detectives uh, just yesterday, that some of those. Def uh, defendants that we arrested earlier this month are going to be pleading out their cases uh, uh, within the next week or so. The federal agencies say they aren't coming in to take away from local law enforcement, but rather to help. On letting the community know that we care, that we want them to have a place that they can come home to that's not ravished by violence, not ravished by uh, drugs, not ravished by individuals who are exploiting. Uh, the weakness of the community for their own personal gain. In Amarillo, Angelina Perez, KEMR Local 4 News. Amarillo is the second city in the northern district of Texas to take part in Project Safe Neighborhood.